Oh, real quick word. Um, a small safety note. The only way I've actually gotten caught so far in 50 years of throwing knives actually is by the blade. If you throw multiple knives at your target with the blade held, flip throw, you know, like I teach, um, if you throw multiple knives at your target, you're going to find that quite often your knives, just like a shot group, they hit the same place. If I'm aiming at the same place on the target, like the bullseye, I'm throwing three or four knives at the bullseye. Quite often you're going to get your knives hitting your other target. You know, they'll bounce off and you say, well, that, was, that would have been a bullseye, but it hit my other knife. That's kind of a good thing in a way. It means you're on target. But it will nick up your blade, especially like this railroad spike knife, which is advertised as a high carbon steel. It is high carbon steel for a railroad spike, not for a knife. It's, it's railroad spikes pretty soft. Uh, metal, but I think they make very good throwing knives. Honestly, some of them like this with a real thick spine, as you can see. Um, so, what happens is a soft steel like this will hit the back of a knife that's already stuck in the target a lot, and the edge will get dinged up. And you can actually cut your hand on the burrs that are on the edge sticking out from the ding marks. So just, I just want to say, take a file and get rid of the ding marks on the edges once in a while. If, like me, you like to throw by the blade. And I generally, I'd say three quarters, maybe not quite three quarters, two thirds of the time I throw with the blade. And it's just what I like to do. Sometimes I'll throw by the handle but I throw by the blade a lot, and that's what I've, periodically, I've got to get rid of the ding marks from hitting other knives, because those burrs on the edges can, uh, can and they will cut your hand. I mean, they won't cut you really bad, but they'll put a pretty good cut in your hand. So, just a small safety note. Um, I tell you, I'm trying to remember everything I can think of to put in these videos, and that occurred to me. So... Get yourself a little metal file, and uh, you're not trying to sharpen the edge, you're just trying to keep it smooth. In fact, you could even dull it a little bit, go right on the edge, and dull it out, but make it smooth so you're not catching your hand up on it when you let go of it. All right? Okay, uh, that's about all I had to say on this. I think this is about the last video for this whole course. And it's been about a year in the making on this, uh, but I'm going to add this last video to my uh, blade held video. But if you watch all these videos, which is quite a lot, you'll see some are shot in the spring, summer, fall, and even one like my full turn throw is shot in the winter time where I'm throwing in the snow. So it's been about a year in the making. It's been a little bit of an adventure. <laughs> All right. Take care. Dismissed. Get out of here.